going on here? Yes, we're going to be late because of you. I wanted to get there at 6 o'clock to see the Bugattis. From what I understand, there's a couple of Bugattis in Lamborghini. And I'm going to have to drive like I'm driving a Lamborghini just to get there for 6 o'clock. Hi everybody, Frank from Family Life. We're just heading down to Toronto to the Toronto Metro Convention Center. We're doing the Toronto uh, Car Show. Uh, we're taking Eli and myself and Amber. Ethan and Taylor are going to join us, so we're really excited about that. We're going to need some roasted nuts. We're going to have probably a lemonade for 20 bucks. You guys better stay tuned because this is going to be a good one. Try living in the past. Never did quite Just Googled that there is a big used to think that there was a place I would rather be. I got there enough time to realize that you are only ever Good job, man. Good job. I'm going to take a picture. Sure. Oh, I was wrong. Oh, I got another broke down car. The subway might have been a better solution, eh? It's not usually like this, but there's just lots of happenings. Happen instead of letting people merge, what they do is they just bumper to bumper until somebody actually has to squeeze them out. Like, look at, like, they're just, they're like, no way, buddy boy, you're not getting in here. Oh, and then there's this maniac who's taking it right to the edge. Look at, 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 look at. Maybe it's Drake. Hockey night in Canada. Would you rather go to the Leaf game or the car show? Uh, the Leaf game. <laughs> I'd rather see a live action hockey game than a Bugatti Chiron. Yes. What about you? I'd rather go to the hockey game. <laughs> <laughs> recording. <laughs> I'm not oh, running up that again. Oh, bless his heart. He it's came a down. a little bigger than the Royal York. He, he went up that and everybody cheered him on and what did they do? Okay, go. They were all cheering for me like crazy. I gave up halfway and they're like, go, keep going. And I'm like, all right. I went, kept going. <laughs> you know, my legs are really tired. Not really tired. Six hundred. Hello, you made it.
The Toronto Auto Show is one of the most popular events for automobile enthusiasts in Canada. Every year, the show brings together the latest and greatest vehicles from the world's leading automakers, as well as concept cars, electric cars, and futuristic technology. The show takes place annually at the Metro Toronto Convention Centre and it typically runs for about 10 days. It is a massive event that attracts car enthusiasts from all over the country. With over 300,000 people in attendance, this show is certainly something to put on your calendar. Competition is strong. <laughs> Are you ready to race? I'm not gonna look at that. You guys are I have to find two little like thin But actually it looks like a track. It looks like a track. No, I have my job. Frank has gone from the fast cars to the hot tractors. <laughs> right? He's just the one that said we don't have time for this. Look at look at He's the he's the biggest kid of all. That's no stinking good. What's your technique? I need two of these, but I might have to use this gray one. But I want I want uniformity, so I'm trying to find another red. But I can't do it. Look at you. You guys didn't even need your yeah, minute. Accidentally may have given it a little. <laughs> <laughs> okay, can you maybe try without okay. cheating? Fine. <laughs> My tires keep falling. Off. Okay. On, I gotta beat Eli. I gotta drop some weight. I gotta drop weight. <laughs> okay. I don't no. know why mine. I have nothing on mine except for two tractor tires. Still didn't win. <laughs> I don't get it. Oh. <laughs> no competition. If anyone wants my car, you can have it. <laughs> This is a 1959, I feel like I was born in the wrong era. Oh yeah? I belong back in the time with the peaky hats and then drive around in these cars.
This is the car that caught fire. Yeah, you didn't get a picture of it. This is a high. This is a hybrid. It's a hybrid. Yeah. What? It's electric and a gas. Yeah. At the time when a heat burned to the ground, it was a concept. It was there was like less than five of these cars available. Oh. And he owned, he owned one of only two in all of Canada. And he burned so it. explain what happened. The fuel cap was so high up that he spilt fuel on the top of the car and squeegeed the fuel into the back motor. If you look at the motor in the back ever, it's vented. See the vents? That's the exhaust pipe right there. And he literally squeegeed fuel into the exhaust pipe and caught it on fire. It's actually lovely. Oh, it's a beautiful car, right? It's a spider. It's a spider. 2015. Is this Mitchell's car? This is the car that Mitchell wants to buy. Luxury cars and people who make the engines will sign their signature. Look, you can you can press this to activate sport mode. Beats up. You could literally tune everything. I want to know where the minivan hull is. <laughs> I don't think they have one. I'm told there isn't one because minivans aren't cool to drive. But I disagree. What if it's frozen? Did you hear that? Dad would drain his truck for this. This. How do you open the door? The the seat rests are here. Can I see this? Let me see. Look at this. The seat rests are down here. How do you open the door? Right. Hold on. Sorry. You open the seat, the door here. One of the highlights of the Toronto Auto Show is the opportunity to get up close and personal and see some of these vehicles firsthand from luxury sports cars to family friendly SUVs. Yes, very little representation in the world of minivans these days. It says, do not climb. <laughs> Read, follow instructions. <laughs> Can you open the back? No, it doesn't. Climb in. You gotta do it like they did in the old in the old days. You gotta go like that. The show has something for everyone. Visitors can get behind the wheels of the dream cars and take them for a spin around the test track. These are all electric cars. So are they trying? Are they trying? I was gonna say you ain't getting out. There's no handles to get out of there. See ya. Bye. <laughs> This is not a car I, I want you to get comfortable being. Manufacturers also offer interactive displays and demonstrations. Another exciting aspect of the Toronto Auto Show is the unveiling of concept cars and new technologies. The prototypes offer a glimpse into the future of the automotive industry.
but don't there worry, there's plenty to do for the entire family. The kids will love the interactive exhibits and the games, while the adults can attend panels to learn all about the latest trends in the automotive industry. <laughs> oh. There's even charity events and auctions to help out local communities. Stay white. Oh, they're unstainable. I've seen a guy pour red wine, pasta sauce, and nothing can see. Red wine. Not nothing can see. I think that's a lie. He poured, he got a fresh bottle, cracked it, and poured it on the seat and wiped it off. It's like, not stainable? Not stainable. They will stay this white forever. I think I might need this car just for that reason. I love white. That. Yeah. Yeah, it's comfortable. I saw What? Ethan It's such a great day for the whole family and a chance to experience the latest in car technologies. So while you may have missed it for this year, I encourage you to mark your calendars for next year. The Toronto Auto Show is worth the visit. This is 75,000. Is this what they look like? That's what they look like. Zero kilometers, brand new. 
That's pretty affordable for a freaking car that will slap a Lamborghini in a quarter mile. Yes, absolutely. It's and this is your dream car? This is my dream car. This is my exact, this is the red two-door Hellcat, this is the red Hellcat. Can you buy this car in your video game? I have this car in my game. Oh, you have this car. Does it perform well? Quick, about 300 kilometers an hour. Is it faster than a Lamborghini? No. Why does Ethan think it is? Zones. You can acquire the driver's teller the home screen layout, choose their music preferences, and set their preferred seat position, and then link those personalized settings to their individual profile. But of course, Uconnect 5 also includes the latest connectivity features like Android Auto, Apple CarPlay support, plus Amazon Alexa. So owners can close the garage doors from inside the vehicle or use the enabled devices to start, lock, unlock, and wait. Is it a little tight? It's not as big as my van, is it? Okay, so listen. I just found my vehicle. And people said it wasn't possible that I wasn't going to find a minivan here today. And here we found are. Only <laughs> Let's go check Where's it out. Oh, that one. Here it is. See, there's a crowd around the minivan too. I don't think they're totally out of the game yet because it's pretty slick looking. It's white. It's white. My favorite color. Look it. This is called the Pinnacle. Come on. I'm sorry, but I still like that. I, I not, like, it's not the loser cruiser that we think it is. It's a really neat vehicle. I love it. It's not so much more, I don't know. Apparently you're type if you drive a minivan, but I'm okay with it. I know. <laughs> I've driven one since Mitchell was a baby, and I just don't know if I'll ever change. <laughs> Look, he's magnetic. Look at him. I found my future car, so I can live. He wants the Kona Electric. It's thirty-two thousand. I actually want the most gas-guzzling vehicle that's here, and I want the three ninety-two Scatback Hellcat. He's buying a nineteen eighty-four. Yeah, I'm buying it. I'm buying it twenty seventeen. I won't be buying it right now. Okay, let's go. All in all, was it a good show? Would you recommend it? Recommend it. Well, unfortunately, it's over this weekend. By the time this video comes out, the show will be over, no. unfortunately. So, but it was still. Came when you had the chance. Yeah, it's here in Toronto. It was for two weeks, wasn't it? Started on the 14th. I think, yeah. It was a good show. This is it, right here. SRT Hellcat Jailbreak. I was going to get the Scat Pack, but I realized that the Scat Pack doesn't have the SRT. The SRT is what I want. Oh, so your $70,000 car just went up. Yeah, my $63,000 just jumped to $91,000 just because of the SRT. And then it'll be another $8,000 if I want to put the wide body kit, which makes it look so much better, which I might do. So $100,000 all in all. Still not that bad. You better get to work. I'll get it. I'll get it by the time. Rock my words now. This video, this day is... 
February 24th mm -hmm. right, today. By 2032, I will be driving a brand new 2030 Hellcat. Paid for in cash. Paid for in cash. No car payments, right? Cash price. So you're walking. going on the record. That's a big. That's a big uh, commitment, eh? By the year 2032, I will be sitting in a Hellcat racing people. <laughs> with Lamborghinis and winning? I'll be winning. Oh yeah. yeah All right, so I need to know, what is your take on this uh, hybrid minivan? Did you see the, the fully electric Sprinter camper van that they had way back? This is an adventure vehicle. You might not we be able this. to, this doesn't have enough space to do a plate, yes, but you got a kettle. You have a sink. A you have sink. a shower. You have a shower. Come on. What is this thing up here? This is a... No, is that a fridge? This is a salt grinder. And that looks like a pretty decent bed. This all, f this all pushes underneath in the slide. What is this? That's pretty cool. Do you drive this? Um, is this supposed to be the new look of the VW wagon? Is that what it's supposed to be resembling? Um, oh, it's got a winch. For all the off-road driving we're going to do? Huh. So the trailer, <laughs> What did you think of that, Ethan? I'm gonna stand on the side of you. That's actually pretty cool. I think I, it, it's pretty much saying that what they're trying to get by is that it's like an off roading Tesla. It's, Wait, it's a fully, that's a fully it's electric, fully off roading. Off roading. It's got a suspension way better than Jeep. Yeah, it's, it, narrower. it's narrower. It can fit through tight spaces and rocks. It's taller. It can climb over the things. It can go through water. It's fully insulated, so it's good for sleeping at nighttime. And where is it being built? In Canada. Come on, we gotta run. Looking like a true survivor. Feeling like a little kid. <laughs> I'm still standing <laughs> after all this time. He's gonna have a seat. Picking up pieces <laughs> of my life with Yeah, this is the first song I want to play. This song? I'm still standing by Elton John. What? I'm still standing all this time. Pieces of my life We've been enjoying our field trip Fridays, and my minivan fits an air mattress in the back quite nicely, and we've done a few of them, and it's been fun. But, oh my gosh, what is happening Can I here? Drive that around? <laughs> Let's check this out. This looks fun. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, that's funny. These are electric bikes. Look at that. I, did you see that electric thing for display the wheelchair? Of electric bikes. That's impressive. <laughs> they never stay. Oh, there you go. It's going. Whoop. Pretty neat. It? And it's only 130. <laughs> 150,000. Your attention, please. It's a the Canadian International Auto Show is now closed. We shut her please down. Please way to the nearest exit and be sure to use Get our the free show service out. for your convenience. Thank you for attending. Good night. All right, guys. They're taking the subway home. We're gonna hit the hit the highway. When I found it was as empty. Well guys, it looks like we shut her down. There are other places, there are a million pretty faces. I want peace, it's where I Used to work.
worry about the future, but the future never came. Tried living in the past, never did quite feel the same. I used to think that there was a place I would rather be. Till I got there enough times to realize that you are only ever here. That's when I found peace with where I am now. It's the only place I'll ever be. I found there are other places filled with a million pretty faces. But I 